Ever since primitive times, humans have been using axes to chop wood. The first axes were simple sharpened stones, but when a handle was added about 35,000 years ago, it increased the force that could be applied with each strike, and that gave the axe much greater impact. Today, the axe hasn't lost its edge, despite the proliferation of mechanized tools. It offers a low-tech, hands-on way to get the job done. A modern axe starts as a cylinder of high-quality steel. A ram nudges it into an induction furnace. The intense heat makes the steel white-hot and pliable, allowing it to be stretched and shaped. A powerful press then pounds the steel into a series of dies to further define the axe profile. A cutter head trims the edges. Operators now transfer the axe to another ram, which presses it into a die to straighten and level it. Then it's onto a revolving rack for half an hour to cool down and harden just enough so they can be handled. A worker loads dozens of the axes into a tumbler. They're tossed about with tiny steel pellets and the resulting friction rubs scale from the surface of the steel and also smooths the edges. Then this worker presses the back of the axe head against a sanding belt to bevel the edges. He sands the sides of the axe head for a smooth finish. In just seconds, he sharpens both sides of the cutting edge. It takes well-honed skills to do this with such quick precision. He then polishes the neck of the axe against a narrower, finer grit sanding belt. And it's time for a dip in a special solution heated to 815 degrees Celsius. Then they quench the red-hot steel in warm oil. The abrupt temperature change hardens the metal so it's tough enough for any wood chopping job. At the next station, a worker assembles pre-punched leather and plastic rings to build the axe grip. She places the black and white plastic rings at each end of the leather pack to give the grip a customized look. The rings get progressively smaller as she tapers the grip to fit the throat of the axe handle. It takes about 36 of the leather rings and six plastic ones to make one grip. She transfers the grip pack to an assembly press and inserts the lower part of the axe, which has been lubricated with beeswax into the grip's center holes. A hydraulic ram drives it through. The lubrication ensures this job doesn't hit any snags. She now flattens metal prongs at the base of the handle to secure the grip. The axes rotate as a long abrasive belt rocks against the leather. It sands the grip to make the layers flush. A worker finishes off the job with a final sanding. His handiwork makes the grip look really smooth. A dip in clear lacquer brings out the grain of the various pieces of leather and they appear to merge into one. Once the lacquer dries, another worker polishes the exposed steel against a belt with a very fine grit. The result is a glossy sheen that ensures this axe will definitely look good on the job. It takes about two days to make one of these axes, but they're designed to last a lifetime. <laughs>